السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و برکاتہ میں برد ان اسلام ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک اندرا فرام جکارٹا انڈونیشیا وچ از بیٹر ڈوئنگ داوا الون اور ٹو جوائن اے داوا آرگنائزیشن کوشچن ون کوشچن ٹو واٹس یور اوپینین اباؤٹ تبلیغ جمع اباؤٹ جمع تبلیغ کین وی جوائن اٹ فار داوا اینڈ دا تھرڈ کوشچن وائی ڈز ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک ناٹ جوائن ادر داوا آرگنائزیشن As far as the first question is concerned, what is better, doing dawa alone or doing dawa by joining a dawa organization? The answer is, whichever is more beneficial, whichever way you can do more dawa, that's better. But generally, doing dawa by joining a dawa organization is more beneficial because you do it collectively, you do it in a jama. There's more barka and it is more effective. Now, when you're doing dawa in an organization, it is properly structured. You have many people in it, maybe tens, hundreds, thousands, depending upon the organization you join. It is more structured. You have people to help you, the people to correct you. You can help other people. So, always doing dawa through an organization is multiple times bene beneficial than doing individually. There may be certain situation where individually. you may have certain things or some ideas which no other dawa organization have and you have certain skills so in this case if you feel that you have certain skills and you want something unique your technique etc then then you start an organization if you think that you are something unique and I always say that when someone starts a muslim organization islamic organization see to it that that organization is doing things which are first as per the Quran and Sunnah number one. Secondly, see to it that don't reinvent the wheel. If everyone is doing the same thing, what is the benefit? See to it that you do things which are unique and do it with quality. Number one should be as per the Quran and Sunnah. Number two, see it is unique. Number three, see to it that it is the best. Then you have a unique organization which is the best in the world. So always doing dawah in organization is beneficial as compared to individually. But today, because the whole world is a global village, and you can do dawah through social media, through the internet, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, on the YouTube, and there are various channels. So nowadays, of course, doing dawah on individual level is also possible. But if you join organization, that organization may train you. It may be more effective. You can. do in a collaboration you can do together with your friends you can be more effective but you can do alone also so depending upon the situation depending upon how much time is at your disposal depending upon what is your work profile all these pros and cons whichever for example you going going to the organization is very far away from your house and traveling takes one hour coming back is one hour and you will waste more of time then in such situation if you think you can do individually better No problem, but see to it that you associate yourself with the organization. If you can't go daily, you go once a week or go once a month. Associating with it is beneficial, so that it can, you can be more effective. As far as the second question is concerned, what is your opinion about Jamaat Tablik? Can we join it for Dawa? As far as Tablik Jamaat is concerned, Alhamdulillah, it is. one of the organizations of the Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jamaat and you know every organization has got pros and cons on a whole as a whole not looking at the minor mistakes it is a good organization as i said every organization has got pros and cons they have got plus points and negative points tablik jamaat is basically not an organization that is focusing on the non muslims they are mainly focusing on the muslims What they are doing is not tabliq. Tabliq mainly means dawa, giving the message to the non-Muslim. What they actually do is islah. Islah means to improve, to repair, to correct, and they are doing it. They are doing an excellent job, and they make sharabi kababi into namazi. They go door to door, they keep on knocking, and they see to it. They tell the Muslim, why don't you come to the mosque? Why don't you offer salah? Why don't you fast? So, as far as islah is concerned. they are doing an excellent job and it is one of the largest muslim organization in the world 
they are not so much for media but yet the network is very good even though they are not so much involved in media but the network is good and the conferences they have the gathering they have is in large number it's in thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands even millions they are very good one of the major drawbacks as far as i am concerned is that they give importance to a book called as tablik e nisab a book tablik e nisab or it co- called as fazail e amal so in india and pakistan and these people of course they are on quran they are on sunna but in the circles in the durus they study more of this book than quran sunna but not that they don't follow quran sunna they follow quran sunna and in this book there are many stories etc some and there are hadiths which are zayf so this is a drawback but the tablik jamaat in the gulf country they read riyadh salih so this is good riyadh salih is a wonderful book it's a wonderful book of hadith and every muslim whom besides the quran should have this book also so in the gulf country the tablik jamaat focus more on riyadh salih but in india pakistan bangladesh they focus more on tablik e nisab or known as fazail e amal so this is a drawback otherwise the organization is doing good work it from the ahle sunnah wal jamaat and i'm aware that one of the gulf country has called them you know and called them as organization involved in terrorism and that time i agree my worry that by no way by no way is the tablik jamaat involved in terrorism there may be one or two members who have done something wrong so you cannot blame the organization because of one or two members so as a whole tablik jamaat is from is from the ahle sunnah wal jamaat and as a whole they are doing good work mashallah and regarding a question that can we join for dawa as i said the tablik jamaat is more involved in islam not in dawa though there are certain people for example maulana kaleem siddiqui he is a tablik from tablik jamaat and is very well versed in dawa among the non muslims is from india but basically tablik jamaat is more for isra not for dawa and the third question in the same question why does dr zakir not join other dawa organizations as far as joining other dawa organizations concern as you may be aware that after being inspired by sheik ahmed didad in bombay we started our own organization by the name of islamic research foundation and alhamdulillah we started in 1991 when i was doing my internship and alhamdulillah we started with one employee and we grew mashallah it became in the next few years in the next 10 15 years mashallah it became one of the largest muslim private dawa organization in the world where we had more than 500 full time paid employees only in bombay and a couple of hundred in other parts of the world and it was the largest private muslim dawa organization alhamdulillah allah blessed it so much so that we were so effective that mashallah thousands of non muslim accepting islam in india so much so that that the indian government after modi came to power started laying allegation and started laying allegation that they involved in terrorism then they wrote a letter to the interpol and they refused it then they changed the allegation from terrorism to hate speech again the interpol refused then they changed it to money laundering so because of this in 2016 at hijra so to say that why don't i join other organizations i myself am involved in many organization i am i was the president of islamic research foundation now the government has banned it even the irf educational trust when where there were schools but most of the organization that i was actively involved i was the main person involved as a main trustee you can call it the president or you can call the main person involved so that i could do at my own free will you know i am a person who is very strict as for the quran and sunna as far as other organization is concerned alhamdulillah i personally cooperate with most of the leading dawa organization in the world as far as the dawa organization that concerned in the world alhamdulillah summa alhamdulillah 
I am in touch with most of the leading DAO organization in the world from different parts of the world, whether it be America, UK, Europe, Australia, Africa, Alhamdulillah. So much so that, mashallah, I am in touch with the heads of most of the popular mainstream DAO organization in the world from different countries. And what we used to do that when we had the conference, we had the, mashallah, one of the largest Islamic conference in the world. And we used to call people from all different organizations. And I believe except for those Muslim organizations which were involved in too much of bidat and shirk that we have turned from. As a whole, always believe, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 103, Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the Sahih Hadith. So, we used to cooperate with all, as many Muslim Dawah organizations as possible. Except those Muslim organizations who were involved in too much of bidat and shirk, we used to stay away from. Otherwise, and when we had conferences, we used to call the main speakers from all the organizations. When we started having conferences in 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, so we had for 5 years, it became so popular. So in India, we used to call people from different organizations. We used to call from, from Deoband, we used to call from Nadwa, from Jamaat Islam, me, from al Hadith, the Hanafi, the Shafi, the Salafi, and we have one platform. And we give a platform to all so that we collaborate and we work together. We may have our small differences, but we collaborate together and we are united. So always, whenever you have an organization or see to it that you cooperate with the other Muslim Dawah organization so that you can be more effective. So this has been a policy and, and yes, we had a policy of of collaborating and supporting various Dawah organizations, not only with, with techniques, with materials, even financially. And we saw to it that those organizations that were involved in Dawah, when we started a satellite channel, Peace TV, of course, we started collaborating with all the Islamic satellite channels, whether it be in English language, whether it be in Urdu language, as long as they were not involved in, in Bidat and Shirk, that was the only criteria. We supported them with whatever we can, with our technology, with our knowledge, and with even finance. So whether it be Dawa channels, satellite channels, whether it be Dawa organization, whether it be Dawa institutions, whether it be individual dais, at all levels, we used to collaborate, and we do that even now. Even though we have left India, we had Hijra about seven years back, even now, mashallah, we are in touch with most of the Duat and most of the Islamic organization, and we try and support and help each other. Hope that answers the question.